A. Piss take. Production. So I did something. Come and have a look. So I did ask the salesman if the new bike came with air conditioning and um, that was a professional question. But anyway, um, it's a hot day today so that's why I asked the question. But yeah, going back to Team KTM for a sport touring bike. Now I haven't ridden the bike and the last KTM I had was the 890 Duke R which I loved and this one suits my needs a little bit more. But uh, yeah, can't wait to see first impressions, uh, what I think of this thing, um, especially comfort wise as well. And it's not as big as the V-Strom. I um, was fighting with the V-Strom really when it's fully loaded. And this is a bit smaller and a bit lighter. But yeah, awesome KTM, even though the company's in trouble. Anyway, I'll um, cut this bit and I'll talk to you when I'm on the bike and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. She's just been wheeled out of the dealership. Now this bike, what I just found out, is not a demo bike. It's done 783 Ks and it was an impulse buy from what i understand Ooh, -hoo, baby impulse buy and the guy um didn't like it so team kptm let's go so i don't have to worry about breaking in oh it's comfortable Now, let's have a look at the tag. 31 degrees. I've got the jacket open with the airflow happening. This bike is light. I'm, I've lost how many kilos compared to the V-Strom. V-Strom was pushing 245, 250 with all the bracket, all the crash, uh, all the um, crash bars and panniers and I just had trouble moving around. Got to, few health issues still going but um yeah ktm this popped up so ktm 890 smt super motard look i love the look of this bike i love the front fender up underneath the front in white such such a stylish bike there's a few things where they've cut corners ktm i, I wish it had brimbo brakes for starters but we'll find it this is a first impressions ride we're going to see what i think of it but so far the seat is comfortable i'm upright funny thing is if this bike was ready for delivery yesterday i wouldn't have ridden it i threw my back still sore so every now and then i've got i, I throw my back out so that's the joys in life of being a ex former crime scene video operator i've got a stuffed back so it does twinge every now and then and i can't i can't look right like <laughs> Derek Zoolander but yeah today I can look left it still hurts a little bit and I look right just tight as a mofo in my neck okay she's warm I could feel it I love the taco look at the taco all the tech in it nice digital taco the clutch is light the mirrors are perfect I'm tippy toe just a little bit. So yeah, 785 Ks and the first service was done. So I picked it up for a great price. So they rec they what is it recommended retail for this thing goes for 24.99 around that. I got this bad boy for 16750
So yeah, there you go. All honesty. I'm not the type of YouTuber that's going to piss in your pocket with reviews. I'm going to say how it is. That's one thing. I, I'm not a fan of watching video reviews where someone's bought the got the bike for you know half an hour from a dealership to test ride, and then they give the give you their their opinion. That irks me. That type of video. Yeah, seeing that's yeah, not even a thousand k's in. When people buy bikes, there's a, you're ever two, a two type of rider. <laughs> there's two types of riders. One where you don't, you just rev it and you you break the engine in, or you fastidious and you you know you're easy on the revs you don't put it above 3,000 rpm now I don't know the previous owner could have um, ringed the neck on this this bike um, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna say I don't reckon he really but doing 785 and being in the city you're lucky to get over up to 100 k's an hour really anywhere He's warm. Now this bike it feels nimble. She's light. Put it in third for traffic. We're in 60 zones. So yeah, the power's there. Enough to get you out of trouble for overtaking and stuff. Zipping between cars. Good size for lane splitting. We'll find out in a minute. So I've got a bunch of goodies coming for this bike. Now, from the past bike builds that I've done, I'm an advocate for um, a budget and not spending too much money to, to customize your bike and tweak the few little things that you want to do. Um, the budget was say under $2,000. Um, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't include the exhaust. So, but what I've spent, would be under what it'd be just over a thousand at the moment and i've gone with nice cnc for a majority of the components so that includes a, a rear carry plate which came in around 200 dollars. it's on the money really i was a bit surprised with the price for that but everything else so a, a foot plate for the standoff I, I tend to go to aliexpress now um it used to be eBay, but AliExpress for a lot of the bike stuff now, it's just affordable, world-priced things like valve caps for a couple of dollars, orange valve caps, just little customizations that you can do. Oh, she's, she's warm. Now, Pro Cycles, they said to me, Paris, you want to pick up the bike because the next three days is going to be rain, four days stormy rain. So it's a scorcher today. And I said, yep, let's go. Now, it's, this stock exhaust, it does sound like a scooter. Brakes. Brakes feel good. You'd stop on a 50 cent coin, there's another KTM rider. 37 degrees, that's what it is now. Oh, baby! Yes, for the last two years, three years, it's really come down to what type of bike rider are you? What type of, what type of motorcycle do you want to own? I want comfort, I want cruise control, I want good fuel economy, those three type items, because I just, my type of riding is sport touring, add your bags, and yeah, I'm not I'm not an enduro rider. Everything shelved for the Suzuki DRZ. That bike build was it's all shelved because of my health issues. I won't sell the bike because yeah, you know, too much went into it. But if there's some miracle, I can 
get a cure for inflammation, then that trip will be back on. But everything's on hold at the moment. Look at that. Just a little bit of wobble in the plastic screen. A lot of plastic on these bikes. This bike is very light. You don't have to, you know, wrestle it to get around. Okay, what's it in? We're in street mode. But how dare you put it in street mode? I need to work out. Menu. So I'm gonna fumble my way through and you work out how to do change some of these settings and cruise control it's awesome having cruise control i wish it was a bit more scenic the ride but sacrifices are made oh that's the abs the ABS, I'd love to turn that off. It's got that shutter feeling in it in the when you put your foot on the brake. Oh, tell you what, I don't even have to add bar rises. My hands are just right. This bike is seriously designed for someone that's five foot eight. You're just sitting perfectly in position. My feet position's not too far back, they're just, just right far out. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed with this bike. I can feel the burn, She's, she, she feels hot. The heat coming off this engine, well baby. Now from my understanding, the tech pack, it expires at 1,500Ks and then you have to pay for it to unlock. That's a big, I'm not gonna pay KTM for that. I gotta find some bloke that, <laughs> that's um, got a um, wife beater singlet on. Um, looks like a um, bikey or, <laughs> or a hitman and he unlocks the bike for me. I'll give him a hundred bucks or a case of beer. There's no way I'm paying the, the amount of money to unlock a bike with the tech pack. Shit, this bike runs hot. Okay. Okay, what's that? Mide mode? Ride mode? Track? Street? Sport? Rain? Let's go sport. ABS mode? Road? Supermoto? Road? Supermoto? We'll put supermoto on. MSR disabled in current ABS mode. Okay. Does she feel more lively? From scooter mode to race mode. Oh, far out, she's warm. So the last KTM I bought came with a, what was it, your service manual and all your books and stuff. Everything's online. So you don't even get, I was looking forward to it. I was going, yes, KTM, I'm going to get the zippered like, folder that's made out of that wetsuit, wetsuit material and a nice K, orange KTM pen to add to my collection. But no, there's none of that. That's, you know, people say, yeah, it's a highlight getting the bike. My highlight was getting the pen and having the, you know, the folder. They're really cutting corners. There's just financially hurting KTM. 
So that's yeah. There's a high risk of this buy, buying this bike, and it becomes a collector's item because the company goes bust. They go no more KTM, and then anyone that bought the KTM's before they went bust and that, they, they'll be yeah. You make a profit selling it. Okay, yeah. On a um, what's the temp now? I can't even read where the temp is, 38 degrees. Yeah, it was hot walking in my, uh, you know, from the train station to the dealership. I felt like in um, the anchor man when he says milk's a bad choice on a hot day. Suspension. The suspension's good. Gets into neutral, okay. So hand guards, I don't need to change them. I'll keep that. Foot pegs, they're kind of the same as the V-Strom with my legs touch them. Yeah, rear ABS is off. MTSC and MSR. Quick shift is on. So I'm not a fan of quick shifters. I really don't care. It's, it's it's one of those things. People love them. I just think oh, it's just like having an automatic in a car. I mean, I know you lift your foot up on that. You don't have to pull the clutch. But I um I just want to ride a bike. I want to change gears. That's what. Yeah, it definitely needs an exhaust. This bike. It's too quiet. Here comes an Ambo. You noticed every time you're out and riding, you always see Ambos. I wonder why there's Ambos. What happened in the last few years, really? Think about it. Where's this guy going? Definitely probably going to go pick up some heart attack victim. They've got the you know what. World's gone mad. On the last KTM, I uh, swapped the seat out for the, you know, the, the better one. Um, this one's not the case. At least KTM, they've put a different foam. It's a real soft foam. So it's one thing, less thing that I need to swap out. You wouldn't want to be in the traffic air, you know, peak time for traffic on the way home. What's the time? 11.55, middle of the day. Eight ninety-nine cc's of goodness. Okay, we're a bit out of the city. Now I gotta say, this bike runs hot. Cook your dick on the side of this engine, fuck me. Might as well tape some heat shield to your legs. You could put, some, put a meat pie and tape it to the side of your leg and cook a meat pie. That's how hot it is. 
Uh, bebe. Now I'm going to say standing position, I'm only out 10 mil. It, it's livable. I'd love the handlebars up just a little bit. But to be able to do this, this is what I love about sport touring bike in this format. Any small town you ride through, you can sit at 50 k's an hour up to 80 and just stand and ride, get that airflow into your jacket. That's what I love about this type of style bike. As much as I like the Katana and all the other bikes, to be able to stand is the best. Yeah, 38 degrees. Summer's officially here. Thought about going through the Nasha. What I'll do, I'll go the I'll go the half half way through. I'll go that way. Got 300 k's of fuel left. Great thing is, yeah, for once in my life, the dealership's given me a full tank of fuel. You beauty. <laughs> Usually it's like quarter or empty, and you got to fill up. So there you go. Thanks, Pro Cycles. Now over the years, one thing I've learned to add to your bike, having a skid plate. I know this is more, you know, a sport, yeah, sport touring bike, but I'm gonna put a skid plate on this. When you're caught out in a day of bad weather and all that road grime goes up on the engine, having the skid plate, that thing just keeps your bike so much cleaner. It's, it's one thing that I'll always put on a bike now if it, if it accommodates it, a skid plate. So I'm going with Hepco and Becker. It's actually quite stylish. It's not, you know, super huge looking. It kind of hopefully it just ties in with the bike and gives it that streamlined look, but I'm confident that it'll do it. And that, you know, that's under $400 for a skid plate. The only bad thing is being in Australia, the turnaround time, I've got to, really, I've got to wait two months until I get it. One thing I notice from 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, down to 2nd, then as you stop trying to get into neutral, I'm finding it's just going into 1st and then when I'm officially stopped, I, I'm kicking into neutral. So it doesn't want to go to neutral straight off the bat. It's just, I don't know, we'll see how it eases into the, um, how new it is or what. So here's all the fun begins where we can really test the bike. The fucking still tight as fuck in my neck. This knot and that, so let's go. So I'll just quickly go over the settings before I get too much into it. Ride mode is on track. And then throttle mode is in sport. Okay, so let's go. A little bit of vibration in the revs when it's at 5,000 RPM in the handlebars. Oh, baby. That's how you have had mates been been their bikes on this road and the, the time you don't have a GoPro you do not capture it As soon as you start getting sticking this bike a little bit, you can feel the revs and the vibrations 
really in the handlebars. Funny that, funny that a YouTuber says that. Oh, excuse me, sir. You've lent this bike to me. It's all good. Fucking dishonest motherfuckers. Why can't you just tell? Just say how bad it is. Interesting anyway, nonetheless. I'm committed. I bought it, I own it. You know as soon as you buy a, a car or a bike, as soon as you go out of the dealership, the salesman says he's an owner. You're an owner. You're gonna put up with it. I don't test ride bikes yet, so that's another thing. People are saying, why don't you test ride the bike? Ain't no buddy. I just don't care about test riding. If I like it, I'm gonna buy it. If I like the look of it, I'll buy it. Then we'll see. If, if you fall in love with it, I'm going to tell you now, if you found a unicorn motorcycle, tell me below and I'll go buy it. But, you know, I'm still looking for the unicorn. You might have to tweak a few things. few sticks and that on the road it's a windy day today a little bit brakes are all right I just wish it had the sound that's the thing bike manufacturers are really subduing bikes to just be essentially a, it's a glorified scooter to open up my wallet to buy a scooter that's another thing I think people forget like the, the government's crackdown on exhaust and that essentially trying to make a motorcycle not a motorcycle with all the restrictions I think more people are just gonna go snap up old bikes new bikes are just becoming that pathetic that you know they're no longer becoming motorcycles well the great thing is not having to break a bike in you can just ride it normally I have no issues throwing this bike around it, it's it feels nice and nimble temperature now down here 35 degrees okay fun fact for this bike the taco <laughs> the temperature gauge moves it gets now on the right end so before it was up here on the left it's trying to you know confuse me I'm going to get in the third I'm gonna, it's the same motor. With the, the thing is, uh, the characteristics of this engine, hands down, I've always said it's like an elastic band. It just takes time just to, to wind out. It just feels like a stretchy rubber band. I'm not feeling as much heat off the engine compared to city riding. At least here through here, it's, yeah, it's, it's backed off a bit. 
So there you go. This bike is not for going in the city. It's going to cook your legs. And if you've got chicken legs like me, yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, anything over 4,000 RPM, instant vibration increase. Ooh, baby. seats still fairly comfortable what have I done 827 k's all up in total minus what was a 783 that I started so yeah give it minus what 50 k's have done the 50 k's not even that oh. question is can you add a GPS unit to the top here Let's, we'll have to look up and see what mounting options they have So here's a question to people that watch this video. What bike is on your radar and, you know, what would you get? See, Eichmer had that many bikes come out and, you know, it's hard to choose from. You got the Chinese segment with the CF Motos, really affordable bikes. Do you go the cheap option with good three years warranty? I think CF Moto, I think people got to sell, buy heaps of those bikes. I've just got a soft spot for KTM and, uh, you know, I relate to, you know, the struggle. So that's why, you know, the underdog uh, struggling financially, that, that's, you know, the top, I just, it's my type of crowd. Remember uh, the, on the Duke R, the screen would, you know, transition between light and dark with the shadows? They've seemed to have fixed that issue, but the screen just blacked out. I'm going to say that the, the screen's not the easiest to read, to be honest. It's, been, it's the gear lever on the, on the left of the big numbers. I don't know what the two is, that's the ABS or something, the ABS on. And then 68, the you know how many, how what your speed, your taco speed's real small. It's like it's backwards. But for some reason, you know, I put it in um, sport mode and all that, and it still says street with a little handlebar sign on the throttle. So it's a bit confusing. Gonna have to read the manual. No, no, let's see what we go. Dodging stick day, and um, I know for a fact that these tyres, the, the um, I forget what brand they are, night, but they're very soft, sticky tyre. Uh, sticks go through them easy. I've had uh, a puncture with this type of tyre. Oh, 
I just think. Oh, I didn't do it. I thought I left my puncture repair kit in the bike that I sold. It's all good. So there we go. Nice little Nasho ride on the KTM 890 SMT. You can throw this bike around. It's like the scalpel, but just, you know, it's the sport touring version. Yeah, my hand's starting to go numb. That's just my health issues. Connected to my back or whatever. I'm going to pull over into Bald Hill and get a cold beverage. Oh, that feel the sea breeze. 33 degrees, slowly dropped. Ugh. Get some air. I gotta admit, um, I haven't dialed the suspension in for my weight, but I know it's nicer than the, the Suzuki. It's a bit more responsive. It's a magic. Yeah, good little bike. That concludes my initial impressions of rambling on. I'll see you guys on the flip side. You saw me mate walking. <laughs> What a beaut. Orange matches my eye colour. <laughs>